Samsung just flipped the switch and gave Galaxy fans something we've all been waiting for. But here's the twist, not only are the latest flagships getting One UI 8, Samsung has now decided to surprise S23 users and even mid-range owners with early access to Android 16. Yep, this is way bigger than anyone expected, and it feels like Samsung is quietly rewriting its update playbook. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. If you're new, make sure to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more deep dives into everything Galaxy and beyond. Now, let's get into why this rollout is so interesting. Just weeks ago, the beta was exclusive to Samsung's most expensive devices, the Galaxy S24 Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. Pretty standard, right? But suddenly, Samsung opens the doors for the Galaxy S23 lineup plus phones like the A36, A35, A54, and A55. That's not just an expansion, it's Samsung signaling that updates aren't just for the elite crowd anymore. And the fact that mid, Rangers are getting a taste of Android 16 this early, that's unheard of in the Android world. Here's where it gets even more exciting. In India, S23 users can already download the beta with a hefty 3.1 GB file that even packs in the September security patch. Meanwhile, the A36 update is trimmed down to about 2.1 GB, available in regions like the US, UK, South Korea, and India. And the A55 beta comes in at 1.9 GB, rolling out to the same market soon. Those numbers might sound boring on paper, but think about it. Samsung isn't just pushing files, they're giving older and cheaper phones the same cutting edge experience as the flagships. That's a bold move. But of course, betas come with drama. Bugs, app crashes, and battery hiccups are almost guaranteed. So the question is, do you risk it now or wait for the stable release? Because once you join, you're not just testing software, you're basically helping Samsung shape the final version that millions of users will run. And right now, around 40% of eligible users have already jumped in, while another 40% are still holding back for stability. Which camp are you in? And it doesn't stop there. Samsung is also quietly testing fresh beta builds for the S23 series with version S91XB8ZYI1. Translation, a new beta 2 is right around the corner, which means faster bug fixes and possibly hidden features we haven't seen yet. The A55 is getting its own follow-up build too with i556XUZY4 surfacing online. These updates may not sound flashy, but every tiny build brings Samsung closer to polishing One UI 8 into the smoothest experience yet. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition has already launched with stable One UI 8 right out of the box. That's the first S-series device to ship with Android 16 baked in from day one. Samsung's strategy here is clever. Instead of waiting months, they're accelerating updates and spreading them across the lineup. It's a way of saying, we're serious about software. Now let's talk about what's inside One UI 8 itself. Beyond the sleek redesign, it's loaded with AI-driven personalization, a smarter quick share for lightning, fast transfers, and subtle tweaks that make the whole system feel more fluid. And the craziest part, this is just the beta. If Samsung is packing in this much already, imagine what the stable release will look like. But don't forget, Samsung hasn't given every detail yet. The Galaxy Z Fold 5, for example, is still waiting in the wings. No confirmed timeline, but if history tells us anything, it won't be long before foldables get the update too. That's where things get spicy, because once foldables get AI superpowers on top of their multitasking hardware, it could change how people use them entirely. So here's the bigger picture. For years, Samsung was criticized for slow updates, but now they're among the fastest in the Android game. They started testing on the S25 series early in 2025, shipped the stable build with the Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7 in July, and now just months later, they're already rolling it out to older flagships and mid-range devices. That's an aggressive timeline, and honestly, it's putting pressure on every other brand. The question is, should you install it now? If you're rocking a spare device, go for it. You'll get a front row seat to the future of One UI. But if your phone is your daily driver, you might want to wait a bit. Either way, the fact that you even have that choice this early is the real win here. And trust me, with Beta 2 builds already cooking and more devices joining soon, this is just the beginning of Samsung's One UI 8 story. The real fun starts when users uncover the hidden tricks, unannounced features, and AI surprises Samsung has quietly tucked inside. And you can bet we'll be breaking down every single one right here. So buckle up, because the road to the stable One UI 8 release isn't going to be smooth, it's gonna be packed with twists, delays, and big reveals. And I'll be here guiding you through every update along the way. Stay tuned, because the best parts are still ahead.